reflection series is basically gonna 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 it's gonna be me just giving my plain thoughts and views about uh, whatever I'm, this video is gonna be about <laughs> or any video is gonna be about uh, no pictures no videos just my full-blown um, thoughts about it now for this specific video it's about the group stages in the Women's World Cup um, <laughs> other than I mean overall this World Cup has been pretty like decent like actually really good something that I've like actively kept me like you know, like wanting to see what what's you know, like what are the like the highlights of every single other game even if I don't like like uh, support any of the two teams that are facing many of these groups have surprised me overall the players have been amazing the goalkeeping oh the goalkeeping <laughs> in this world cup has been has been amazing you can clearly tell you can clearly tell the women's football in this world cup has completely changed from the last two editions and that's exciting for a football uh, fan like myself. That is exciting. Uh, so let's see. Um, group by group. Uh, group A. We have New Zealand's first ever World Cup win. They did it against uh, Norway in the opening uh, match of the World Cup. Um, something I found out. This is actually uh, New Zealand's not only first World Cup or women's World Cup win. It's their first World Cup win overall. The men have gone to two World Cups, but they have not won a World Cup yet. So this is a histor this is a historic moment for the New Zealand uh, uh, women's national team. Uh, secondly, we have the Philippines score their first ever World Cup goal, scored by Serena Bolden, and their first win overall as, as well, as the Philippines haven't qualified to the men's World Cup. Um, they did it against New Zealand and, f um, <sighs> sorry. <laughs> so my prediction was Norway, Switzerland, New Zealand, and Philippines with Norway first, Switzerland second, yada, yada. Um, I did not count on New Zealand beating Norway. That was a surprise for me. Uh, and then New Zealand falling to the Philippines was kind of like to me. I was like, oh, they beat if New Zealand beat Norway, you know, they can they can do a surprise here. And then they just, they just kind of went down a little bit. Um, uh, all kudos to the New Zealand women's national team. Uh, they have nothing to be sorry about. I watched the last game of of, of them against. Um, uh, Switzerland and they did everything that they could unfortunately you know that's football sometimes the goal is there sometimes it's not and this is just it was just one of those moments but that at any shot could have gone in and it could have pulled them through uh, unfortunately that didn't happen but I, I'm not a New Zealander or however they call themselves on there uh, Kiwis I'm not sure uh, but uh, they have nothing to be ashamed. They've, I personally think they've done uh, the organization, uh, the women's f uh, football in New Zealand proud. And it makes me kind of curious to see how they develop from this, you know, because having a win at the World Cup, you know, can only go as, <laughs> you know, from up from there, hopefully up from there. Um, yeah, and then the Philippines as well. Um, they did what they could as well, and it wasn't um, me personally. I wasn't expecting much from them, but them scoring a goal and having a first win for the Philippines, uh, historic moment overall too. Um, okay. So for Group B, we had uh, Republican Republican. <laughs> Uh, we had Republic of Ireland uh, scored their first ever Women's World Cup gold, and it was scored by Katie Maccabee. I hope that's right. Um, and, yeah, historic moment for uh, the women's national team of uh, Republic of Ireland. 
And then for the group predictions, I had Australia first, Nigeria second, Canada third, and Republic of Ireland fourth. So, I actually got this one to the T. <laughs> Australia, Nigeria, Canada. So, uh, not much to say from my part on that group. Uh, group C, we had Zambia, uh, first ever World Cup goal and win. Uh, they did it against Costa Rica and... Dang. I didn't put here who scored their first goal. Um, let me look that up. Oh my god. Oh, sorry, that's where it is. Okay, Nigeria, Zambia's first goal. I thought I put that one on. Huh? Alright. Uh, forgive me if this is. I butchered the name. So, Lushomo Mui. Mwimba, Mwimba uh, scored the first goal for Zambia um, overall because the Zambia um, national uh, football team for the men haven't qualified to the World Cup. So an historic moment for Zambia, also a uh, win over uh, Costa Rica, which to me wasn't really much of a surprise. <laughs> it wasn't really much of a surprise. Um, and then... Let's see. Japan's win over Spain. That one caught me off guard. 1-0, maybe. You know, I know both of them were already qualified to the next round. So, I kind of feel like Spain used that game to just kind of do anything but win. <laughs> That's literally what it felt like when I was watching the highlights. Um, I'm going to say highlights because the game uh, over where I live, they are... They happen while it's sleeping time. So, um, so other than that, they have the let's see. So yeah, that four zero really threw me off guard. Um, so, but you know, kudos to Japan. Hopefully, they use that win um, to further their finishing point in this World Cup. Um, so the group prediction I had for this group, group C, I had Spain, Japan, Zambia, and Costa Rica. Um, I got Spain and Japan correct to qualify to the next round, just switched the round. Japan actually ended up in first, and then Zambia and Costa Rica, I got it right. And like I said, you know, Costa Rica left a lot to be desired during their uh, playoff round, but, you know, they got here, and hopefully they can get better over um, the years as well, because the U.S. and Canada really need... Uh, competition <laughs> over here uh so group d no big surprises um well i mean england hitting china with a 6-1 or 6-0 i forgot the score um that i was not expecting uh let me look at the, the score again i don't wanna i don't wanna erase false yeah 6-1 um honestly that was <laughs> it's all, cool. all kudos to England as I've said before I, I personally think England is the better team in this World Cup um, they get eliminated um, I don't know I don't know That's it is what it is but yeah no big surprises on, on me from th this group England, China, Denmark and Haiti I said China was going to qualify they did not Denmark qualified instead China in third and Haiti in fourth um but I said, I get like again, no big surprise. Um, I picked China because they were um, the champions. But even if they didn't qualify as they have not qualified this World Cup, I, my second option would have been Denmark. And they have, so not much um, in that group. Uh, group E, we have Portugal's first ever Women's World Cup goal and win. Uh, they did it against Vietnam, and it was scored by... Telma Encarnagiao. <laughs> Sorry, these are literally just like me, like off the top of my head from the notes. Um, and yeah, but who predictions otherwise? I said USA first, Netherlands second, Portugal third, and Vietnam fourth. And I did say that if there was any team that could ruin anything for USA or Netherlands, it was Portugal. 
Portugal was one kick away <laughs> from eliminating the U.S. at the first time that the U.S. would ever have been eliminated in the group stage. And like I said before, and I'm going to read it again, this USA women's national team does not look as strong as the last two women's uh, squads for the 2015 and 2019 World Cup. So with that in mind, I wouldn't be surprised. Well, I wish it, I'm not really expecting much from them. But if they do get eliminated in the round of 16, which they're going to be facing Sweden, <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, again, if they beat Sweden, I'm like, happy, okay, you bounce back, hopefully it's good through. But this, the last three matches, even against Vietnam, really didn't feel like they had full control of the pitch as in prior World Cups. Um, so, uh, yeah, uh, my group predictions, I got it wrong. I, Netherlands ended up in first and USA in second. Portugal did end up in third and Vietnam in last. Um, group F, we have the surprise of the tournament. I'll get to group G later. Uh, group F, we had Jamaica over Brazil. Jamaica did not beat Brazil, but the tie helped them get through to the next round and... Uh, that really was kind of like a wow moment <laughs> for a lot of people uh, all because everyone thought Brazil was gonna win Jamaica if Jamaica had beaten Brazil we would have been like what <laughs> but a tie is like oh congratulations to <laughs> Jamaica you know they managed to not lose <laughs> to Brazil uh, we have Jamaica's first women's World uh, Cup win uh, versus Panama. Um, the men have qualified to the World Cup. They have not won. Um, let's see. What are they? Uh, Marta. <sighs> Sad way f to see her uh, World Cup venture, uh, adventures, and six World Cups. Six World Cups. I don't. I can't think of another player that's currently on on the road to break that uh, record, and by playing in five in six World Cups, not just being in six World Cups. Right? To me, there's a difference between they were at five World Cups versus they played in uh, five World Cups and they actually scored or they did something that impacted that helped the team to you know make history in the World Cup and Marta did that unfortunately she did not score in this uh, World Cup uh, but that history that she's living behind um, I don't know the Brazilian um, uh, women uh, footballers they're gonna have to step it up they're gonna have to step it up they are gonna have to really turn things around um, you know, when always we think of Brazil, we always think of uh, the talent, the talent that they have. And so they have to show that talent that they show down at South America and La Copa America. They have to show that. They have to show that talent down there. Um, uh, but yeah, that's uh, Brazil, unfortunately. Surprise, they did not go through the next round. We have Panama's first Women's World Cup goal. Um... It was uh, scored by Marta uh, Cox. Uh, Cox. I'm not sure. Could be Cox because it's Spanish. Um, so, yeah. Uh, the men did score when they went to the 2018 World Cup. Uh, my predictions were France first, Brazil second, Jamaica third, and Panama fourth. Um, I got Brazil and Jamaica wrong. Jamaica got second and Brazil third. Um, oh, to me, a welcome surprise. You know, CONCACAF is going through. Uh, but at the same time, you know, kind of like a bittersweet moment for Brazil. Really uh, wish um, Marta would have gotten at least one goal in her last um, uh, World Cup to make it an uh, even bigger uh, historic moment than what she has already <laughs> left behind. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Uh, group ABCDFG. 
G. Sorry, I meant Group H. I'll get to H. <laughs> group G, we have South Africa's first Women's World Cup win. Uh, surprised. Uh, not to me, and I'll get to that in a bit. They did it against Italy, and it's the first time going through the second round. This is the first time South Africa women's national team is going through the um to the next round. I don't believe the men have made it to the next round, but let me just double check on that so I'm not selling out. Or giving out false information, South Africa national soccer team. All right, let's see. Okay, so that's the women's. Uh, confederations of football. Okay, where's the? Hello. Hello, hello. Where'd they go? Oh, there you go. All right. Um, why isn't it showing the, uh, sorry, let me, it's not showing me the national soccer team, there you go, alright, um, That's a lot of effort. Okay, here we go. Uh, okay, for all record, they've gone to two. Yeah, no. South Africa has gone. The men's have gone to 1998, 2002, and 2010 as the host, and none none of them they've gone to the round of 16 or the second round. So this is the first time South Africa soccer period has gone to the next round of a World Cup. So congratulations to the South African uh, women's uh, national team. Uh, now, my group predictions were Sweden, South Africa, Argentina, and Italy. I got Sweden and South Africa right. Argentina and Italy were just switched. But remember what I said. Italy is Italy. <laughs> oh, uh, part of me is kind of like, I, I knew it. But at the same time, as, in, as a fan of the, of the Italian uh, football national team and... Uh, the men's national team. I haven't really followed the women's, and just the city I in general. You know, it's kind of it's also kind of bittersweet. But I don't know. I the way that South Africa had been playing, I just I saw I saw, I like first saw uh, what was this situation. I, and I didn't even think about them losing to uh, Italy, losing to South Africa. Uh, but it happened in that one of the last minutes. Sweden and South Africa go through, and that's I I got that right. <laughs> Sweden and South Africa, just Argentina and Italy. Have. And then Group G. Uh, first of all, Colombia's win over Germany. We should have seen that. You know, Brazil not qualifying was a surprise of the tournament to me. Germany not qualifying to the round of sixteen me is the biggest disappointment not the surprise uh but i'll get to that in a little bit more so colombia's win over germany historic uh really left everyone's like Ooh, okay colombia congratulations let's see this group got juicy <laughs> uh we have morocco's first ever women's world cup goal and win uh done against south korea and i'm i'm sorry butchering the name Ibtisam Jaidi? Jaidi. That's how it's spelled here. I'm sorry. But, you, <laughs> but yeah, so they scored their goal. And they beat uh, Colombia 1-0 to debut uh, to the round of the round of 16. Uh, so first time Morocco is the women's national team going to the round of 16. And the last time a national team was debuting at the World Cup and qualified to the next round was in 2015 World Cup, which was hosted in Canada. Netherlands, Cameroon, and Switzerland all debuted in that World Cup and all made it to the next round. Um, so this is you know, a historic moment for Morocco, not only because 
of what they've did, what they've done in this World Cup, but also the men's in 2022, going all the way, getting fourth place. So Morocco is, uh, Morocco is <laughs> is growing, and I've said it before. I don't know if, if I've recorded or if I've not. Morocco is is a prime example that if there ever is going to be a non-European and a non-South Af- South American um, uh, national team that could win the World Cup from CONCACAF, CAF, AFC, or, OEF, or OFC, I see CAF, the Africa uh, Football Confederation organization, I see a national team from Africa winning the World Cup before anyone from North America, Asia, or the Oceania, uh, because the African football has grown so much, and not only because of how the how the structure has, you know, grown and how much uh, interest and uh, invest investment has been put into that football, but also many of the soccer players that have gone to play to Europe or any of the surrounding areas have chosen to um, wear the uniform for the national team where their family is from. And that has really boosted um, the African national teams up. So again, congratulations to the Morocco national team. Now, Germany, the greatest disappointment. Germany is always, since the the Women's World Cup uh, creation all the way until now, uh, everything that they've done in Europe, they have always been a contender uh, to everything. They've run Europe for a good chunk of amount of time, and at the World Cups, they're always the biggest European threat. More, going beyond football, the fact that the men's national team were eliminated in the group stage back to back 2018 and 2022 and now the the women's national team is, has been eliminated in the group stage uh, there's going to have to be a drastic change <laughs> a drastic change for the um, the German uh, football association and what's the next plan Maybe they see this as just another bump in the road, because I mean, two times not qualifying to the next round. You can already see um, the men's side uh, everything that they're trying to change to get Germany back on on track. Um, but yeah, no, them Germany not qualifying uh, to me really is the biggest disappointment. I I foresaw them going to at least quarterfinals, possibly even the semifinals. So. Uh, yeah, that's all I got to say about that. Uh, my group predictions, I had Germany qualifying first. <laughs> that's how much uh, I lost on that. I had Colombia second, South Korea third, and I will say, and I'll take the L, I said Morocco was going to end up in fourth because it was their debut, um, and I thought that was gonna could be too much for them, and apparently it wasn't. Colombia ended up in first, Morocco second, Germany third, and South, and South Korea uh, in fourth, so... Yeah, so as of now, the round of 16, we have Switzerland versus Spain. I'm kind of going with the way that the, the things has been going on. I'm kind of choosing that Spain is going to like get back on track and, you know, get through. If Switzerland beats Spain after what Spain did against Japan, I wouldn't be surprised. I'll say that. Netherlands versus South Africa, I think South Africa has been playing great, but I think up to that point, um, Netherlands is still the stronger team, so I'm I'm saying Netherlands is going through. Japan versus Norway, I think this is probably like the uh, toughest match of the of this of all the the games, because um, Japan, I mean, they just <laughs> beat Spain 4-0, and Norway has kind of been uh, they kind of fluctuated a little bit, but got back on track in the group stage. So, I'm saying Japan, but I wouldn't be surprised if Norway somehow got a win over 
uh, Japan. Well, actually, let me retract that. I see Japan going through. If Norway does beat Japan, I would be surprised. Not shocked or disappointed, just surprised. Uh, just like smidge, <laughs> just smidge. Like, oh, wow, congratulations, I guess, Norway. But yeah, I think Japan. Uh, Sweden and the U.S. Uh, I'm going to say this is the end for you, <laughs> the U.S. I think this is going to be the first time that the U.S. does not end up in the top four. Um, something they have been doing since 1991 World Cup, um, which is the inaugural World Cup. Um, but I think the, the way that they've been playing, the way that they showed against um, uh, Portugal, uh, the way that they didn't dominate Vietnam, uh, and the way that they played against Netherlands, able to tie them, but easily could have gone any other way. Um, as they were behind and had to tie it up. Um, yeah, I, I think this is I think this is Sweden. Sweden is I don't know. <laughs> I saw them in the group and <laughs> yeah, I think this is gonna be this, this is gonna go to Sweden. If the U.S. does beat Sweden, uh, I will be surprised. <laughs> I will. I, that, and that's like. Ugh. Because everyone's like, oh, the U.S. is, you know, the big team. Because, you know, four, three World Cups. I forgot how many they have already. But, yeah. No, that's something that I'm going to say. It's going to be, it's going to surprise me if they do. Uh, Australia versus Denmark. Uh, I'm going to give it to Australia. I don't know. I think this, this match is close, but I'm going to give it to Australia. I think they might be able to get that little that um, home advantage on their side a little bit. Uh, if Den if Denmark does eliminate Australia, this is one of the matches that I wouldn't be surprised. Um, but I uh, my choice is I'm gonna go with Australia. Uh, France versus Morocco. I think France. If Morocco <laughs> beats France, I think this is the one game that's gonna completely shock me. <laughs> If Morocco beats France, uh, interesting enough. Now that I'm looking at that, um, France and Morocco, the men's team, actually faced each other in the semifinals on the, the 2022 World Cup, and here they're facing each other in the round of 16. Um, I France is France. We've seen their growth. This is Morocco's first World Cup, so that, I'm I'm going against. Experience versus inexperience in new territory for Morocco. So that's why I'm giving it to France. If Morocco wins it, surprised. Welcome, surprised, but surprised nonetheless. Uh, England versus Nigeria. I've been picking England to win the whole thing. So I'm giving it to England. However, I... I can't see... I can't see Nigeria beating England. But if somehow they do... If they do somehow eliminate England, I, I would be shocked in this one. Not surprised. Shocked. Because <laughs> now that Germany is out, I think them alongside with Netherlands, USA, and France are probably like the top teams. Japan uh, also, like the top teams that are probably the favorites to win it. Uh, England more as they are the, the women's Euros champs. So I'm going to go with England then. And, but... Let's see what Nigeria does. And finally, we have Jamaica versus Colombia. I think Jamaica did well against Brazil. This Colombia is different, though. Um, hopefully, they're able to pull back after the Morocco loss and revert back to what they did against Germany, and that'll help them to go through. Jamaica, I mean, their win came against Panama. Um, uh, <laughs> so... Uh, I'm going with Colombia. I'm not expecting much from Jamaica. I think it's already a, a congratulations for them to have gone to this far. If Jamaica somehow beats Colombia, that would be another uh, upset. I wouldn't. I would be surprised if they did. Uh, so yeah, uh, those are my picks: Switzerland, Spain, Spain, uh, Netherlands, South Africa, Netherlands, Japan, Norway, Japan, Sweden, the U.S., Sweden, Australia, Denmark, Australia. France and Morocco, France, England and Nigeria, England, Jamaica, Colombia,
Colombia. Uh, so those are the team. That's my prediction on how this is all gonna go down. So, yep, the next video is go I'm gonna release is gonna be after the round of 16. I'm gonna look back at how these predictions went and um, yeah, good luck to the remaining 16 women's national teams at this World Cup.